President Obama on Monday had a golf foursome. He had uh, two Republicans with him, Saxby Chambliss and Bob Corker, and he had a Democrat with him as well, Senator Udall. And apparently, you know, they all know their handicaps, and this is really. Did you know that one of the golf magazines actually scores a handicap of all the congressmen and senators? I mean, these guys go golfing so often that they're like, oh, wow, he's, you know, uh, Udall actually apparently is the best handicap in the Senate. Pass some bills. Do something about unemployment. Anyway, anyway, I know. These guys love to golf. And look, I enjoy a game of golf. I mean, I play pitch and putt. <laughs> I don't play the whole 18 holes. It's exhausting slash expensive. But anyway, so they went out, and that's not a bad thing overall. Don't get me wrong. Uh, and Saxby Chambliss uh, wound up getting a hole in one. Wow, that's terrific. Good for him. And you're probably wondering about our sidebar. And I'm going to tell you, in the beginning, he was actually terrific about it. And uh, he said, look, I'm the luckiest guy in the world to have a hole-in-one. Anyone who says having a hole-in-one is skill, they're living in another world. Well, that's humble, that's nice, so there's nothing wrong with that. And then he went on to say, uh, this was a day to get away from the office, and the president seemed like he enjoyed himself, and I know the three of us did, and it was just like playing with my usual Saturday morning foursome. Now, look, they're getting away from the office on a Monday. I just don't think these politicians work very hard. It drives me crazy, but that's fine, that's good. They're getting along, Republicans and Democrats, and he's saying, wow, I played with a couple of Democrats, and I liked him as much as I like my regular guys that I play with. And by the way, apparently he plays every Saturday. Okay, all right, God bless, God bless, they got money, I know. Nothing wrong so far. And then he says, look, there was a lot of jawing back and forth on short putts. It was just a fun day. Okay, so if we left it there, I'd actually say that was overall pretty positive, right? But no, he had to add one extra thing. So what did he say? He said, actually, I told him, referring to the president, since I'd made a hole in one, he ought to give us everything we want on entitlement reform. Now, you know what entitlement reform is? That's cutting Social Security and Medicare. See, that's where it got not so fun, not so funny. So like, oh, I do declare, let's go play golf, well, as I do on every Saturday, but today we'll play on Monday. Oh, golly gee, I got a hole in one. So uh, what do you think? We cut Social Security and Medicare and have millions of senior citizens in this country struggle mightily because I got a hole in one at our country club when we went to go golf together? This is how they run our lives? And don't worry, you didn't need a hole in one. Obama's going to agree to it anyway. He's the one that proposed cutting Social Security to help you guys out in the first place. And in fact, that's exactly the kind of deal Obama wants to do, and that's why they're going to golf in the first place. Now look, see, when I, get, when I see that, then I say, hey, look, I get it, they're rich, they're connected, apparently they have a lot of free time and they go golfing all the time, and, and I'm glad they're getting along. But when they have, are so disconnected from the people they're supposed to represent, and say like, oh, 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 I had such a good shot, I should get to cut at least 20, 30 million people's, you know, checks so they have a hard time putting food on the table or getting medicine. That's where it gets sick. Now look, this isn't just Saxby Chambliss who's a Republican. I mean, this overall idea of playing golf is they're, the elite are obsessed with it. I don't have any problem with the game. Like I said, I enjoy going to pitch and putt. I love it when I get the ball up in the air. I don't care where it goes. Hey, it went up in the air. I got it. But look at this, man. Obama in his first term played golf 113 times. Jesus, you're the President of the United States, do your job. Now look, you know Bush wasn't any better. Bush broke all records on uh, vacation days. After a while, the wars got so embarrassing he stopped playing golf, but he didn't stop his vacations. Broke every record there was on vacations, okay? And I'm sitting here, we got a small business, we do this show called The Young Turks, right? I'm busting my ass over it. I'm working Saturdays, I'm working 12, 15 hour days every day. You are the president, take it seriously, man. I know you got a lot of stress, I don't mind you playing golf every once in a while, but I did the math on it. You know, that's playing golf 7.7% of the time, or 7.7% of the days that he's in office. That's one out of every 12 days. Now, he's only been in office for the second term for about 100 days, he's already went golfing 12 different times. Just please, man. And, but actually, the flip side is, I know I want him to do his job, but if he does, what are they going to do? They're going to say, I do declare, let's cut entitlements. Well, then screw it, don't do your job. Go back on a golf course. At least you're just being annoying there and not hurting other people. But when they cut the deals on the golf course, 
to make sure we get screwed, well, that's why you get the banner that we have here. And it's well-deserved on all fronts.